Welcome again. This is a follow-up video from the Healthy Church Discernment Process Congregational Conversation that we had this last Sunday. We're really thankful for the overwhelming participation that we had in the survey, almost 200 people who participated. It was really wonderful to gather this last Sunday with well over 100 people and, and spend a couple hours looking at the survey, looking at what our church said about ourselves, and reflecting on what are our strengths, what are we really good at, what can we celebrate, and also asking what are our weaknesses, where do we maybe struggle a bit, and then asking what kind of opportunities do we have, how might God be leading us forward. It was a wonderful discussion, a great time together, and we pray that that helps us lay a foundation for the years ahead. I wanted to talk just briefly, I'll get to a minute in some of the events that are coming up and how the healthy church discernment process moves forward. But before that, I wanted to again say why we're doing this process and what we hope to get out of it. We know our identity is faith church. We know our vision and that hasn't changed and we don't anticipate that changing. We want to be scriptural. We want to be biblical. We want to be rooted in God's word. And we want to be caring. We want to love each other. And we want to love those in our broader community. And we want to be deep. We want to be well-equipped. We, we want to train and to encourage and to guide each other in growing, putting down deep roots in the faith and spreading out to the world with God's grace and God's love. That's who we want to be. That's, that's our identity. And we don't see that changing. But we're in a challenging season. This this is a different time than it was even a couple years ago, certainly than it was 20 years ago or 30 years ago. And so we're in this process to, to really be discerning, to ask what, what is this season that we're in and how do we shape our ministries to best accomplish our vision and live out our identity in this season? We want to do that prayerfully. We want to do that wisely. And we really want to do it together. We want this to be something that we as congregation, we as council, we as staff talk and work and pray through so that when we move forward, we move forward on the same page. So the goal is that we discern, discern how the Lord is leading us to be an even healthier church as we try to be rooted in his word, as we try to love each other, and as we try to show his grace to each other and to the world. So let me talk now about some details of things that are coming up. On November 19 and 20, that's a Friday evening, Saturday morning, the Healthy Church planning team, council, and staff are going to gather. We're going to spend about six hours reflecting on the congregational conversation and how, how the congregation spoke in that time, how the congregation spoke through the survey. We'll talk about some congregational and community demographic information that the planning team has gathered, and we'll reflect on on what that means for our priorities for the season ahead. During that time, the Healthy Church prayer team is going to also be gathering in the church building to pray for the retreat, to pray for the leadership and the congregation of faith, to pray that the Lord would make it really clear where he is leading, to get all of us on board with that and excited about how he is directing. We'd like to invite all of you to sign up for particular time slots to gather with the prayer team and simply to pray, to pray and ask for the Lord to lead us. After that retreat, the planning team is going to put together a ministry plan document. This is going to be a plan that will bring all the conversations we've had the last few months together and land on here's some strategic priorities and here's how we see those being worked out in some very specific ways. In early December, Council will meet and will give approval to that ministry plan. Following that, we're going to take a few weeks around Advent and Christmas. We're going to, in one sense, pause the Healthy Church process for a few weeks, but really in another sense what we're going to do is just celebrate the Healthy Church that we have. We're going to gather to worship, we're going to focus on Christ's coming, and really give thanks in this season for God's grace. And then in the middle of January, we're aiming for January 16 at this point, we'll have a congregational meeting. Before that, we'll put out the ministry plan for the congregation to reflect on, to pray through, to consider, to ask questions about. And then at that January 16 meeting, we'll ask the congregation to affirm the ministry plan. 
there shouldn't be any surprises at that point. It will be things that arise out of the conversations we've had and that should help us to move forward together. But if there are questions or uncertainty about the ministry plan at that point, then we'll have more conversations. We may refine some things. And then when we arrive at that point where we can say together, this is where the Lord is leading us, then we'll move forward. In one sense, that will be the time when we wrap up the healthy church process, but really that'll be more the time that we launch our our move to be a healthier church. So we'll move from conversations about how we do this to actually doing it, to implementing it. So it'll be another whole phase of work to do by God's grace together. But I think we'll be really excited about seeing where the Lord leads through that and how he directs us to move forward together. Again, as always, if you have questions, please get in touch with me or a member of council or a member of the Healthy Church Planning or Prayer Teams. We want this to be a prayerful conversation where we listen to the Lord, we listen to each other, and then we move forward based on how the Lord leads. Thanks for your attention. We look forward to continuing this process together.